Oh, damn. <laughs> You're doing great. Where's that? see everything on my desk no can i not wear these because you'll just see my life oh no i cannot wear these <laughs> um welcome back guys so we're going to watch another bad bunny Ros but with rosalina reaction today and it's gonna be epic because they're both fire and there's literal fire effects in the video and um, bad bunny reactions or analysis as i like to call them here um tend to be the most popular on my channel i don't know why maybe because i do know why i'm just playing i do know why but you know what i've been recording today and the more i record the more i remember how much i love this so I hope that I project that to you guys and you want to like this video, support me, come back on Fridays and enjoy this with me, this experience. And if you are a new creator, aka making your own music or part of a music video, because sometimes your friends might just need you to pick up that camera. Nowadays, everybody is a videographer and an editor and you know, if you could feel a little bit more capable just by watching my videos, just to learn to analyze not to say that you are capable of analyzing yourself making your own conclusions why because it's creativity and one person may look at a piece of art and see it one way and another person can look at it another way and that's the beauty of this so this is just one perspective but i hope you like it i hope you love it and let's watch this video i don't know about you guys but she's giving me major like mona lisa vibes right now just i don't know um i think that might be like the spaniard influence just like the artistic the renaissance like it's interesting that they are going to be pulling on some renaissance-ness i know that just because i've seen pictures of the video and i've seen the clouds and my friend had a renaissance birthday so i know that's also a trending aesthetic going on right now and because of her Spaniard influence, bringing in the art and the architecture, that little bit of gold is a very um, impressive way to project that right now. Also, like, isn't me or like her eyes look really healthy? <laughs> Weird comments, I know, but it's like, look at them. Look at them. Hey, take a second. I just realized that they didn't film this in Wideland right now. As far as lyrics goes for my non-Spanish speakers, they're talking about a night that they had where they just kept going and they kept going and they didn't stop and it was just something that they couldn't explain. Yeah, you know, the usual. I love that he's down there. I love... <sighs> He, he's got dangerous eyes, man. Dangerous eyes. Danger. <laughs> also, I adore his robe. I really adore that green color with the gold sheen, the velvety with the chains. It's like a whole mood. Okay, so the, they're continuing with the whole lyrics of just like, I was on you, you were on me. It's a little bit graphic for some cultures, not for my culture. This is like, you know, normal. We're very proud of our sexual proudness. That doesn't mean, that doesn't have to mean a negative thing. It actually means there's a level of like equality in it. And that's one of the reasons why I feel so comfortable talking about it. Because I think there is an underlying level where women are considered equal in this realm where a lot of other cultures and even previously with religion where we weren't allowed to to feel and and some, something so intimate that we're a part of hey bobby Dima, mommy i love how they were just talking to each other Dima, bobby Dima, mommy As I'm not I like really all the different angles. Also, it's just so interesting to me, like how he speaks. Like, you know what's so refreshing about looking at him? It's like he is an image of males that I saw growing up. 
you know, a very fresh, clean cut male. You know, nowadays there still are fresh cut, clean males. Um, it's always associated with like Playboy and blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, being fresh and clean doesn't always have to mean that. I mean, I know, I know you guys are going to want to go off on that. But at the end of the day, if you go ahead and you raise fresh, clean sons and you raise them to value women, you're not going to want the world to see them that way. Okay, I'm going off on tangents on things that I want to cover in the future. Hopefully you like it and you're interested and you want to subscribe, but let's focus on the video. I'm trying to be transported to like their feelings in this. And I do like that he's looking up because oftentimes when you're thinking of something in the past, I believe you look up. Hmm. Hold on. No, I could be wrong. No, I think you look down. I think up is for daydreaming and up is for thinking and lying. But he's trying to show that he's thinking about it. This is where they have to be friends, but they have to act together. So this is like going to be weird. <laughs> I don't even know how he's keeping a straight face. Like, she looks so believable right now. Ooh. The fact... I know it's an effect, but the fact that the fire, like, just caressed her face was very nice. Like, I think that effect is really what's making the video something right now. Like, they are also projecting a lot, but that fire i've never seen before in a video as far as lyrics i do love this part where he's just like um ya me pasao. this has already happened to me where people have um given me false illusions and then he says ya me pasao again you know it's already happened to me where uh, where they've abandoned me so I think those are very like profound things that he's just saying where maybe you haven't exactly felt it, felt it, but the way he sings it, you think you felt it before. And that's what I really enjoy about his songs. Oof. I like this part too, cause where she's got the flame back. This part is like Titanic, but like they have superpowers and you know, they're about to like, it's like, you know what this is starting to project me? The intensity. It's like, if they love one another, if they do it again, the world will end. Because that's how powerful. <laughs> like, it's just, it's just looking crazy. I think mean, this is cute because she's like, he's a little devil and I'm, I'm his angel. <laughs> I also like that little part where like we don't compete with one another she also sings the same thing where she's been through the same things of being um, given false illusions and of being abandoned oh, the flame is just killer I adore this effect I mean, low key, the way they're acting with one another, like, you know how, like, in any culture, there are gossip magazines, like, this, this boy, oh, oh. Maybe, like, they were given creative direction where they're like, you're Romeo, you're Juliet. And I, you know, I have been in an acting course where, like, if you give, if you're given the direction, like, you can, like, feel it. I still remember one um, one time where we were really missing the mark on like how we were supposed to act and I just didn't feel comfortable with my partner. But then my um, teacher said, why don't you guys pretend like you guys are kids and act it out like you're kids um, just to bring out like a playful part of us where we like become comfortable. And just that direction that goes to show that like your director can really incept your mind and give you that direction to be proper and that's why i think influence is such a major thing because when you have a thought it then becomes action
All right, guys, so the sun is starting to go down, which means I had to enhance my lighting here for the ending of this video, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you're sticking around and starting to see um, the different ways to create a star, how stars are created, um, how it could be such a personal experience, how it could be such a corporate experience. Um, and it could feel like perhaps if you're just starting out, it could feel like you have a long way to go if you want the star level of like the full on costumes and the full on like marketing identity. Um, if that's something more that you want me to talk about, feel free to just leave comments and then I'll make specific videos on the marketing behind that. But when it comes to Bad Bunny as an artist, one of the reasons why I really love him is just there's underlying like this is who I am accept me how I am but I'm still going to be out evolving and still be changing so accept that about me and that's something I truly identify with and I hope that you identify with to some degree and that you like these videos and that we're learning a little bit together and we're really just seeing some cool cool stuff so other than that don't read too much into it um love you guys so much thank you for coming to planeta mars on fridays where we analyze music and videos <laughs>